Ever wondered how data travels across the world? It's not by land, but by the water that the internet makes its journey. The internet is made up of tiny pieces of code that travel through thin wires spread across the oceans. These wires help data zip across continents in mere seconds. It's amazing to think that such a vast network relies on these underwater highways. The concept of laying these cables dates back to the 1800s. The first underwater cable, laid in 1858, connected the United States to Britain. Back then, the internet wasn't as fast as it is today. It took 16 hours for a message from Queen Victoria of Britain to reach President James Buchanan of the US. This historic achievement marked the beginning of global communication. One of these impressive cables is the Marea Cable stretching over 6,600 kilometers and costing between $300 and $400 million to install. That might seem like a lot, especially since these cables are only about as thick as a garden hose. Yet the investment is crucial for maintaining our high-speed connectivity across the globe. Despite advances in wireless technology, undersea cables remain the fastest and most cost-effective mode of data transmission today. Their reliability and speed continue to surpass that of satellites and other wireless methods. The internet's journey begins in tiny data form traveling through cables spread across the world's seas. These cables, crucial for our global communication and entertainment, cover approximately 750,000 miles of ocean. They start as tiny glass fibers in factories, are structured for safe and fast data transmission using lasers, and are then loaded onto ships. Each step in this process is meticulously planned to ensure maximum efficiency and safety. These ships lay the cables on the ocean floor. Currently, 493 active and under construction cables cover about 1.5 million kilometers of the ocean floor. Laying internet cables, which cost millions of dollars, requires careful planning. A flat seabed is preferred to avoid disruption from underwater rocks. Closer to shore, cables face more disturbances. They are made thick and packed with stainless steel and plastic to withstand the ocean environment. This robust design helps them endure the pressures and hazards of the deep sea. An expert team surveys the ocean floor to determine the best cable route, avoiding areas near volcanoes and strong undersea currents. After careful evaluation and approval, the years-long process of embedding the cables begins. Submarines conduct thorough surveys, considering environmental and water hazards. The latest fiber optic technology ensures high reliability, speed, and efficiency. The cables are stored in ships and routed directly to rear for installation. Repeaters and splitters boost signals and direct the cable to planned landing areas, using a plow to bury the wires under the ocean floor. The precision involved in this process is a testament to human ingenuity. Older cables could transmit data at about 100 gigabytes per second, but newer ones can reach up to 400 gigabytes per second thanks to dense wavelengths division multiplexing, or DWDM. DWDM allows different wavelengths of light to carry data simultaneously through a single fiber optic cable increasing efficiency and data transmission capacity. This advancement has significantly boosted our global communication operations. The cable structure also boosts efficiency. About as thick as a garden hose, they consist of multiple layers, including a fiber optic core where data travels as light signals. A thixotropic jelly layer protects the fiber optic core, while plastic layers insulate the cables. Copper wiring provides electrical power for data transmission. These layers protect the cables from the ocean's harsh environment. The intricate design ensures that data flows smoothly across vast distances. Repeaters in the ocean act as signal boosters. Installed every 70 to 100 kilometers to keep the data signal strong over long distances. They are powered by copper conductors carrying 10,000 volts of direct current. These repeaters are crucial for maintaining the strength and integrity of the data signal, ensuring seamless connectivity. Ever wondered who's behind the web of underwater cables that connect our world? Traditionally, these cables were the domain of telecommunication companies, who teamed up to share the costs and benefits of laying and maintaining them. By pooling their resources, they could build and manage these complex networks more efficiently. 
However, in the last decade, the game has changed dramatically, with tech giants stepping into the fray. Now, tech giants like Amazon, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft are diving into the deep blue independently. These companies own about half of the world's undersea cables, stretching across continents from North America to Asia, Europe, and Africa. Their investments have dramatically altered the landscape of global connectivity, making the internet faster and more reliable. Google, for instance, is a major player owning 14 cables that link data centers worldwide. One of its notable connections runs from the United States to Chile. Amazon, too, has poured massive investments into these cables, crucial for its Amazon Web Services, or AWS. Similarly, Microsoft backs these underwater lifelines to power its Azure cloud services. These cables aren't just technological marvels, they're geopolitically significant. Who controls them can impact a country's economic stability and national security. Control over these cables can be as strategically important as control over physical territory. Take the example of Huawei and Australia. Huawei planned to connect Australia to the Solomon Islands with a new cable, but Australia blocked the move, fearing potential security risks. This incident underscores how critical cybersecurity and strategic planning are in the global tech landscape. Believe it or not, about 99% of global internet traffic travels through these underwater cables, making them the backbone of our digital world. As internet demand skyrockets, so does the need for more robust and advanced cables. This increasing demand fuels continuous innovation and expansion in the industry, pushing boundaries in technology and infrastructure. Technologies like optical modulation and multiplexing are boosting their capacity, and operations like SUBCO are at the forefront of these innovations. There's also a push to create new landing sites to bring the internet to remote areas, including isolated islands. Expanding connectivity to underserved regions can significantly boost local economies and quality of life, bridging the digital divide. However, with great connectivity comes great risk. Cyber attacks, data theft, and cable tapping pose significant threats. To counter these, cable operators are teaming up with cybersecurity experts to safeguard our digital highways, ensuring the integrity of our global communications. The future of underwater internet transmission is bright and vital to our digital economy. Continued advancements promise to make these networks faster, more reliable, and more secure, paving the way for future technological innovations. As the internet fuels online business, e-commerce, cloud services, and communication, enabling everything from social media to global commerce, and shaping the future of our digital interactions. As demand and threats rise, collaboration with cybersecurity experts will be key to keeping our global network secure. What are your thoughts on ensuring a safer future for the internet? Share your ideas in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.